So up to now we have seen uh, three different rectifiers and I would like to make a, a brief comparison between all these three. So first we have seen a single phase rectifier, right? And then we have the three phase half bridge rectifier, then we have the three phase uh, full bridge rectifier. So in a, in a single phase rectifier, remember the output voltage was something like that, right? So this is uh, V phase uh, peak. So what was our output voltage? You know, you know, remember we calculate that area. So if this is square root two, if this is square root two V phase RMS, right? And the area under that one was uh, two square root two V phase RMS, and I am dividing by P, or I am multiplying that one by 2 and dividing by 2p. So the average voltage was 207 volts for the single phase rectifier if it is uh, fed from a 230 volt RMS uh, phase voltage, right? We, we obtain 0 0.9 uh, times that value which gives you 207 volts. And let's uh, define the difference at the output voltage, so the difference at the output voltage, I mean, what is the difference between the maximum and minimum value? Because if I want to get a smooth output voltage, then I can install a capacitor, which you already did in your assignments, and the size of the capacitor actually depends on that uh, ripple voltage. So in this case, the maximum vol value I can see is square root 2 times V phase and square root 2 okay that point is square root 2 times 200 230 volts and this gives you 325 volts and the minimum value actually it can go down to 0 volts so it is quite uh, difficult to filter out that component and my ripple is 320 volts and actually my ripple you can see is larger even larger than my average voltage right what about the frequency of that ripple right so let's uh, try to draw it again so this again we will use the same trick we used for the uh, current so let's say uh, this is my fundamental and uh, my rectified single and my rectified waveform is like that right. So let's see I mean this is the rectified of a 50 Hertz signal and I want to calculate if there's any 50 Hertz component with it so I will basically multiply it with a 50 Hertz signal right this is a 50 hertz signal and you can see if i multiply that one with that one i have positive positive i will have some positive waveform whatever the shape but here i have negative and that output is still positive so i will have the same shape uh, negative right so they will cancel each other so that one has no 50 hertz component Okay, so let's uh, calculate if there's any if there's any hundred hertz component. So, and you can calculate it yourself uh, for the uh, first harmonic component. And you can basically uh, say if this is a full period, right? This is twenty millisecond, and the half one is ten millisecond. So you see there's a waveform repeating itself at every 10 milliseconds. So that means you have the first uh, fundamental. Of course, you have the uh, DC value as well, but the first uh, fundamental at 100 hertz. So if you would like to filter that one, you know, you need to decide the corner frequency of the filter according to the first ripple. And um, we, we don't want to get rid of the DC component that is our output uh, voltage all right so let's uh, see what is the case uh, for a three-phase uh, half bridge 
rectifier so for the three phase half bridge rectifier if you remember right I have those voltages but they are like 120 degrees shifted and that one is moving from one side to other one and this is a half bridge rectifier so in the end you are seeing three peaks in one uh, cycle and what was uh, the area if you remember it from the previous slides we were calculating that one and we are multiplying it by three so instead of that value we have three square root two uh, divided by two p but this is line to line voltage or you can write that one is also equal to three square root six divided by two uh, p v phase rms okay and then you calculate that one you get 270 volts so basically uh, there's some increase in that voltage right however let's now look at our ripple voltage so again that peak value that peak value if you are looking from the face-to-face uh, -face voltages uh, that peak value is still square root 2 v phase so that one is equal to 325 volts but now the minimum value doesn't going down to zero as in, in the single phase case but it is stopping here and if you remember uh, if this is like one that was 0 0.5 uh, for uh, 30 degrees so that difference okay that delta vo is uh, square root 2 v phase divided by 2 half of that voltage so instead of seeing 325 volts i am seeing 162.5 volts ripple so now my ripple okay my ripple gets smaller and my output voltage gets bigger so and on top of that you know both my output ripple is uh, smaller and you can see now i have a waveform that repeats itself again if one full cycle is like uh, 50 hertz so now i have triple of that frequency and therefore the first uh, ac ripple of my output voltage is 150 hertz both the voltage gets reduced and the frequency gets higher so it is easier to filter that thing compared to a single phase okay so now let's look at the, the uh, full bridge case in the full bridge case i have remember i have those voltages okay and these are uh, line to line voltages and i have one two three four five six of those uh, one voltages at uh, one uh, period or let's say 20 millisecond if it is 50 hertz and my peak value okay or my average value is 3 square root 2 divided by p okay it's double of the half bridge and it was 540 volts okay 540 volts is the average voltage so it is double of the half bridge rectifier what about the ripple so for the ripple i have here square root 2 vll okay 400 times square root 2 I have that value okay then if this is let's say one the joint parts let me go back if you are if you would like to see here so if this is let's say one so they are coming at 60 degrees so this is square root 3 over 2 magnitude wise okay if this is one this is square root 3 over 2 so the ripple or the difference okay becomes 1 minus square root 3 divided by 2 and the peak value of square root 2 times vll anyway if you calculate that one it is 75.8 volts it is even smaller than the half bridge rectifier and again since it's one to repeat itself one two three four five six times the fundamental frequency of that waveform is 300 hertz so now instead of you know if you compare it with the single phase 
so my ripple voltage gets smaller quite much smaller my output voltage gets bigger so what is the advantage of getting a higher voltage if you say power is equal vi you can get the same power okay if you increase voltage so you can uh, get the same power at a smaller uh, current so that reduces your uh, losses and increases your efficiency and on top of that even if you don't put any capacitors the output voltage is much closer to a DC and if you want to uh, filter that one you have to filter just a small amount of ripple and on top of that the frequency of the of the uh, ripple is 300 Hertz and as the frequency gets bigger it becomes easier uh, to filter those components right 